Has your pen shrunk suddenly? Has your pencil swollen? Has your teacher tried on a fairy image? Nothing to be surprised at, it's a school supply magic class at the Troom Troom Academy. Miss Smith has been blessed with a rose. Now she wants to take a selfie, but she doesn't really like the look of the flower in the picture. What should she do? Then, Miss Smith remembers having a course in basic magic at college. Voila! She turns the little rose into a giant flower with a slight movement of her hand. Beautiful! The floral giant will definitely make her selfie awesome. Miss Smith is reflecting on where she should use her abilities. Once she's found a magic wand, she has to use it. Maybe she should change her image. Choose new glasses? No, she'd rather keep this magic accessory and prank her naughty students. The girls are deep into drawing. The crayons are flittering here and there in their hands. They must be preparing new pictures for the wax art exhibition. They do not want to do math and don't pay attention to the teacher's remarks. Let's see what happens if Miss Smith helps them with their art. She is going to shrink their crayons down to dwarf size. Cut wooden color pencils and take out the color lead. Try not to break it. Print Crayola labels of the small size and cut them out. Cover the label with glue and wrap it around each color lead. Print a scaled down box layout and cut it out. Fold it up to assemble and glue the sides. Snip off the excess so that the mini crayons will fit the size of the box and put them into the package. The girls can't understand what has happened to their crayons. The blue-eyed girl tries to take a thin pencil into her hand. How should I draw with it? I need to take a magnifying glass to see these crayons, otherwise I may easily mix them up with a toothpick. Miss Smith asks her students to put all the crayons into the tiny box. It's a real challenge. On the other hand, we develop our fine motor skills. Miss Smith takes the crayons away. She really likes this mini box. It's time to stop these magic experiments. She wants to turn the crayons back to their regular size. But apparently, Miss Smith used to miss some basic magic classes when at college. She confuses the spells, and a giant Crayola pencil appears instead of a normal crayon. Take a big cardboard tube, for example, left after plastic wrap. Spray paint it. Cut a nozzle off a disposable pastry bag. Put it into a cup and fasten it with a rubber band. Smooth the bag inside the cup. Take the labels off of the crayons. Break the wax and melt it over a candle. Pour liquid color wax into a pastry bag. Let it cool down and take out the hardened cone. It is the tip of a giant crayon. Wrap it with thick beige paper to imitate the wood. Cut off the cone to align the edges. Attach the painted tube to the tip of the crayon. Cut off the excess paper. Cut out a circle for the butt. Draw a colored circle in the middle of it that looks like the end of the lead. Attach it to the butt end. Cover all the joints on the tube with decorative tape. Print a big Crayola label and attach it to the huge crayon. Miss Smith is totally shocked. She's always dreamed of creating something great, but she never thought it would be a crayon. You may even draw a huge heart with the big pencil. This giant crayon is immediately attracted to students' attention. They take away Miss Smith's crayon and draw a snail on a big sheet of paper. 
It requires a lot of effort. Drawing with this crayon may substitute a whole PE class. Redhead wants to draw a house for the snail and offers a ruler. Don't you understand? A regular ruler can't be used with the giant crayon. Blue-eyed girl makes her friend smaller, but our chief magician comes to the rescue. She breaks the spell and gives a giant ruler to the girls. Wrap a strip of thin foam plastic in color paper. Attach paper of different colors to the sides. At first, make inch hatch marks with the pencil. Then, define the hatch marks with a black marker at a scale from 1 to 2. And add figures. Drawing with this ruler is a pure delight. It is just enough to make a frame for the snail. The snail is in its house. Now we have to color it. Redhead looks for the paints in her backpack, but Miss Smith must have conjured the school supplies in Redhead's backpack. Instead of the big watercolor, she finds its miniature replica. We will need watercolors and an empty pill blister package. Take some watercolor with a knife and put it into each blister. Press the paint with the top of a pencil cap. Even out the paint. Cut off the top of a thin brush. Attach a toothpick instead of the handle using super glue. Paint the handle with nail polish. Put mini watercolors into a tiny package. Miss Smith is having a magic snack, but then she gives normal sized watercolors back to the girls so that they won't get angry. The blue eyed girl gets regular paints while Redhead has to color her picture with a dwarf sized brush. At least the colors are bright. Finally, Miss Smith is making something useful. She conjures a cute tiny pencil case. Take four rectangular pieces of thick cardboard. Round the corners using a small cap. Cut off the excess. Glue decorative paper of two different patterns to the cardboard. Attach a zipper of a needed size to the back of the cardboard. Cut off the excess. Attach the second cardboard piece of the same pattern to the other side of the zipper. Hot glue a thin rubber band to the cardboard to make the inside of the pencil case. Fasten the band to the back. Attach the rubber band with gaps for school supplies. Hot glue the cardboard inside the pencil case. Attach a piece of decorative paper to cover the back of the pencil case with a joint on the zipper. Hot glue the thin rubber band across the edge. I open the pencil case and see mini treasures hidden in it. Tiny little tape, a mini eraser, and teeny pens. And my friend takes out her mini notebooks. Have we got into a Lily Poochian school? This teeny pen is the cutest in this case. Take out a refill of a regular pen with a thin nib. Wrap the nib with silver adhesive paper. Wrap the handle with a few layers of decorative tape to make it thicker. Cut off half of the refill. Take a wide cocktail straw to make a cap out of it. Cut off a small piece and stick it in a plug of the same pen from which we got the refill. Put the cap on the mini pen and wrap it with the silver adhesive paper. Decorate the barrel of the pen with thin adhesive film for nail design. This pen would be great for writing secret notes in mini notebooks. And thereafter, we will put all the tiny school supplies into the teeny pencil case. We wish we could shrink the class as well. Did you like our ideas of giant and miniature school supplies? Then write in your comments what you like the most. The mini versions of a pen and a pencil case? or the maxi variants of a crayon and a ruler. And don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell. 
It will always let you know when new and creative ideas appear on the Trim Trim channel.